Welcome back to CLC News. I'm your host, Meg. The school year is slowly coming to an end, and those who are graduating are getting a little more excited every day. To help keep you on track, Mitch Anderson is looking ahead. With the 2017-2018 school year coming to a close, there are a lot of important dates coming up. If you are graduating this year, don't forget to apply for graduation and reserve your cap and gown. CLC has two graduation days, May 9th for Staples Campus and May 10th for Brainerd Campus. For those of you coming back for another awesome year on campus, don't forget to apply for your scholarships. The deadline is June 1st. Also don't forget to apply for your 2018-2019 FAFSA. But before we start looking into next year too much, don't forget that finals week is coming up, starting May 7th and ending May 10th. Graduating is a big milestone in life, one you should certainly be proud of. The next chapter could lead to anything. So we were curious, what are your plans? Mitch set out to investigate. For this week's On the Spot, I'm taking to campus to find out what students have planned after they graduate from CLC. So what are your plans after graduating CLC? Uh, I plan on hopefully getting into the State Trooper Academy and pursuing that and seeing where that takes me. After graduating from CLC, I plan on going to Bemidji State for my bachelor's in psychology along with possibly doing a law degree there and then going on to do my master's in psychology. So what are your plans after graduating CLC? Uh, I plan on going to uh, St. Paul Police Department for a couple of years and then moving back up to Duluth. So what are your plans after graduating CLC? Um, well, I hope to uh, go to Bemidji State and maybe play football. We'll see how this year goes and see how everything turns out. But that's my plan right now. I plan on being a physical education teacher there. As the videography class of 2018, it's a little nerve-wracking to think about what might come next after graduation because there are many avenues to choose from. It led us to think about previous videography graduates and what they might be doing now. So when I graduated from the videography program at Central Lakes College, I honestly didn't know what I wanted to get into. I kind of wanted to get into the outdoor industry at that point. So where I am now, it is 2018 and I work for a company called Deer and Deer Hunting and they do magazines, they do a TV show, and they do a lot of social media. And I am the online video producer and editor for the website, but I also go on a lot of trips for their TV shows. The main thing I always tell people when you look for a job in the industry is connections. It's about who you know and you know how they can help you and how you can help yourself. So when I was a student at CLC Videography, I actually got an internship while I was in school there at National Joint Powers Alliance. It's a government agency service co-op. I started off um, at CLC and then I moved on to Just For Kicks right off there. Um, and so I did an internship for three months and <laughs> everything was going well and I'm like uh, you know I don't really want to go back to school or do another job do you guys want to hire me on Nick came up with Northland moments while we were working at our separate facilities we wanted to work with our friends and, the, and our because, friends like, our friends that have been our classmates yeah. <laughs> but if you don't fill your life with something that you enjoy doing like I think that's the, what Northland moments is for us there's so many stories out here and there's so many stories in Brainerd that need to be told. My career kind of started in college. I freelanced for uh, a little bit of my last year and then just kept freelancing. I just kind of kept taking off from there and kept getting bigger and bigger and kept getting more and bigger and bigger clients. It's, it's much more than a dream job. It's, I mean, I get to do what I want. I'm my own boss. I can go wherever I want. You know, I just moved to Steamboat Springs, Colorado and already gained jobs there and I'm uh, pretty thankful for that. Not only do I like get to film for a lot of different clients, I film a lot of stuff by myself, just uh, straight adventure lifestyle videos um, and kind of like mini documentaries to road trips, you know, touring the West Coast and visiting 15 national parks. There's just so much that you can do with videography and um, the experiences you get from it and 
just the moments you get to capture too. We are all on the home stretch to graduation and the second year videography students are putting all the skills we've learned to the test by creating our final capstone movies to be premiered at the film festival May 9th at 6.30 in the Chalberg Theater. You can join us to celebrate two years of creation and see how far individual talents have come. Admission is free. The late spring has been affecting everyone, including our softball and baseball season. Emily Skelton gives us an update on sports. Even though it's been cold, the baseball and softball team has had a few chances to play ball. The softball team record so far overall is 12-5. and five. The baseball team's record overall is 4-8. and eight. To see their season schedule, go to the CLC homepage and click the Raiders Athletic tab. Then choose the sport you're looking for and find the schedule link at the top. This long spring has also forced CLC to take spring cleaning to a whole new level. Emily explains in our campus spotlight. For those of you who may be returning this fall, there will be some changes. The Dryden renovation project that we have going on is basically an all-encompassing upgrade to the space itself. We're looking at replacing the risers, we're looking at replacing all of the chairs, we're looking at replacing all of the curtains that surround the Dryden. As far as the actual renovation itself, that should be happening this summer. Our sports facilities will be updated as well. The biggest renovation will be in addition to the press box on the football field. They're looking to add an upper deck for more efficient space. The baseball field will get new dugouts, and our gym will be updated as well. In the future of 2019, the Student Life Center will be making a move and adding new amenities for the students. For our Fun Fact Friday, we wanted to give a little advice to all the graduates. It's important to remember that failure can sometimes lead to the best outcome. Henry Ford had five failed business ventures before founding the Ford Motor Company. So keep your head up and hustle. Today we turn CLC News over to the videography class of 2019. And from all of us graduates, 2018, Woo! signing off. Oh, I forgot to throw my hat. <laughs> <laughs>